Hey, hey, everybody, Tim here, Gray Man Poda, amateur radio call sign, November Whiskey 9 Foxtrot. Well, it is a beautiful Sunday morning. I am out here just outside of Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, at the Red Rock Canyon uh, National Area. It is absolutely beautiful out here. I uh, came here, unfortunately, yesterday. I came here to do the activation, and uh, I became more of an attraction than this beautiful landscape behind me. Uh, but uh, I went ahead and uh, packed it up, came back out here today. I'm in an area where there's not as much pass through kind of, uh, you know, overlooks, tourism, uh, that type of stuff. It's actually a parking lot for horseback uh, trailers and stuff like that. So it'll give me a good area to set up and I, I won't be interfering with other people's experiences while I'm out here. Kind of hence the name Gray Man. Um, so today I've got the uh, Pactena 2040 Infed Half Wave. Uh, I am debating on whether or not I want to go ahead and link the 40 meter section up to it. Uh, not being familiar with kind of how the bands uh, fluctuate here in the Western United States. Yeah, obviously there's a three hour time difference from where I'm from. Uh, so I think I might just go ahead and extend the full 40 meters and get that set up so I've got some, some flexibility. Uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, and this is really, I'm sure you guys have seen it, uh, the portable telescopic carbon fiber mask. It's a six meter mast, roughly 20 feet. And it's a, a kind of a joint venture between uh, Gigaparts, ex their Explorer line and Mike Cade and Mardi, who uh, really put a lot of effort and time into uh, helping them get something that was very usable for us. Now, Soda Beams, the carbon fiber six mast is probably um, about the only other one that's on the market that's this same compact size and uh, diameter. The problem with it, and it's the same problem that a lot of carbon fiber masks have, is that the top two, three sections are so thin that they're, they're really not usable for what we do. Um, and, and that's string antennas up on it. This thing was beautifully designed in the sense that a couple things. So when you remove the cap, there's a, uh, captive area in there that catches the eyelet for the top section. So it'll immediately pull it out for you, which is a big plus. You're not having to turn it upside down and try to fish that one out. The second thing is, is that first section here is super thick already. It's about the same as maybe the third or the fourth on most masts. I think it's a, about the same diameter as the uh, first section on the uh, Pactena uh, 10 meter mast that I have at home. Um, so a beautiful thing. We're going to get that. We're going to use that to get this deployed uh, today and uh, get on the air. I'm going to put a link to this down below. They are sold out. Uh, they brought it out at uh, Dayton Hamvention and they had the first like 25 of them that they got in from their supplier. Um, and, and those were gone in, in short order. So they also have got a 30 meter mast coming out. Uh, or I'm sorry, a 10 meter mast that's coming out 30 feet, 32 feet that is going to be also this same length, which is very, uh, very appealing to me because once again, I'm trying to do a lot of this stuff while I'm traveling uh, and I've got to get it inside of a suitcase. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that coming out. I will put a link down in the description uh, to order these. It's kind of like a pre-order right now on Gigaparts website. Uh, there will be a special link in there uh, that gives Mike KDMRD uh, a credit uh, for the purchase, which, uh, once again, support the hams that are supporting us. I mean, this we have a lot of great advancements in our community because somebody's like, hey, you know what? I, I got a better idea and, and actually takes that to fruition and, and gets it out there. So we have a lot of that in the ham community. Uh, case in point, that uh, Nano VNA case that uh, I previewed in a previous video, actually in my last video, and I'll put a card up top here so you guys can go to that if you haven't seen it. Uh, Another example of a ham radio operator that saw a need for something he needed to do, designed it, and oh my God, it is the next best thing to slice bread and ham radio. Well, at least in carrying test equipment. So let's, uh, enough of me jibber jabbering, let's get on the air, get this set up. So uh, stick with me.
Okay, we got the antenna set up. Once again, I'm using the uh, Pac-10 to 2040 uh, in-fed half wave. I uh, earlier had mentioned that I was gonna set up all the way up to 40 meters. I think I'm just gonna leave the 20 meter section up. Uh, but got it just uh, short up to the uh, top railing here of the fence with uh, one of the uh, orange uh, doingy straps, uh, RG316 cable. And the antenna, if you can see out there, um, it's about 20, uh, 20 feet up in the air on the other end. So uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get over on the radio and get going. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, November Whiskey 9 Fox Truck calling CQ Parks on the air from U.S. 7494, the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. November Whiskey 9 Fox Truck calling CQ Parks on the air and standing by. Zero, Juliet 7, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. The uh, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra station? Kilo, Juliet 7, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. Kilo Juliet 7, Sierra, 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 you're a 5 1 into the park today. Kilo Sol, Kilo Sol, it's actually a park to park. Uh, Red, you ready to copy? I'm ready for your park number. Park number is Uniform Sierra 4501. All right, I copied US 4501, and you are a 5 1 into park 47, I'm sorry, 749 for the Red Rock Canyon. Park number one more time. Park number is US Uniform Sierra 7494 7494 QSL. 7494 QSL. Thank you very much. Kilo Juliet 7 Sierra 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 73. All right, 73. Have a great activation. November Whiskey 9 Fox Trot QRZ. Kilo Juliet 7 Lima Alpha Echo. Kilo Juliet 7 Lima Alpha Echo. You're a 5 9 into the park today. 5-9 into your park, 7-4-9-4, uh, uh, QSL. Uh, QSL. All right, I've got you 5-5, five 5-5 and five, five and five into Western Washington. All right, thanks for the 5-5 five, five into Washington. You have a, a great day in 73. 73. November Whiskey 9, Foxtrot, QRZ. Kilo Delta 6, Whiskey X-Ray, pop off. Uh, Kilo Delta 6, Whiskey X-Ray Papa, you're a 5-9 into the park today. Uh, thank you for the 5-9, you're 5-5 you're five, five with a lot of QRM, QSL. All right, I copied the 5-5 five, five with QRM. You uh, you have a great afternoon, thank you very much, it's 73. 73, thank you. November Whiskey 9, Foxtrot, QRZ. Well, altogether that was 10 contacts in the books. Got quite a few states that I wouldn't have normally get in Indiana. Uh, now that I'm out here in in Nevada, uh, it normally, you know, we're we're just passing right overhead. So uh, that was cool. So I've got a uh, activation here in Nevada now. So I got that on my bingo card. I've got uh, a couple states where I've uh, uh, spoke with some hunters that uh, I don't normally get. So I consider this to be a very successful activation. Although it took a little bit longer than what I wanted. Uh, quite honestly, look behind me. Not a bad place to be. So. No complaints there. I'm gonna get this wrapped up and actually try to get down the road. There's another uh, state park just uh, about six miles down the road. And uh, maybe I can get uh, two activations in today. Uh, but with that being said, uh, make sure you check out that link down below for the uh, POTA 20 mast from uh, Gigaparts and uh, K8MRD. And uh, make sure you use the link down there. It helps Mike out, gets him some uh, credit for those sales uh, for that. So. Um, until we get an opportunity to meet again, I have a video right over here that you might be interested in, 73.